ever wondered why we yoga teachers lay so much emphasis on breathing in the practice there are a couple of reasons behind it and i am going to take you through it through today's session welcome to shape up with me kadlin in today's session we'll be focusing on opening up the hips and like always there's going to be a challenge for you at the end of the session so stay, stay tuned let's get started with the centering practice sitting in a comfortable cross leg position keep the spine lengthened both palms and chin mudra resting on the knees and slowly keep your eyes closed Today, trying to focus on how you would like to feel through the day. Instead of focusing on the many tasks that you have to do, just try and focus on how you'd like to feel at the end of the practice, at the end of the day. Stay with that thought. Notice the state of your body at this very moment. In today's practice, although we'll be doing some fast movements, try to focus on the breath. Try to focus on present moment awareness. observe the state of your mind understand that you are in charge of the mind and whenever required see how you can shift your focus we'll take three deep breaths to start the practice Feel free to exhale out through the mouth and let go. Focus on every inhale and exhale. Inhaling deeply. Exhale out through the mouth. Last one, inhale. Exhale through the mouth as you relax completely. Now bring your palms to the chest. Let's begin with three Om chants. Inhaling. Last one. Inhale. Oh. Remembering to develop present moment awareness throughout the class. Grab your palms, generate heat, and bring your palms to the eyes. Gently open your eyes looking at the palms keep a smile on your face Namaste everyone So let's begin with our warm up We'll start standing We'll work on some dynamic leg raises and then focus on opening up the hips So let's start turn to one side I'm also giving you an option of placing your palm on a wall just for added support if you feel like you're not able to balance while you do this asana So keeping your feet together we'll start with the right leg trying to gain a little momentum as you move your right leg back and then lift your right leg up as high as you can So this is where if you need support keep your left palm on the wall So let's go let's do 10 counts inhale and exhale lift the leg up So inhale 
exhale 10 9 inhale exhale palms on the hips 8 if you're not placing the palm on the wall 7 6 5 4 3 good going 2 and last one 1 great now let's do the other side again shifting your left leg back more weight on the right leg feel free to keep the right knee slightly bent inhale and exhale 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 excellent just relax for a few breaths noticing your breathing great now we'll change it up a little using the arms as well so you're trying to set a sort of like a benchmark for you extending the left arm forward move your right leg back try to keep your arm slightly above the shoulder again depends on where you're comfortable if you're still getting your leg up you can keep it lower if you're very comfortable keep the arm up higher eventually maybe you can try and extend the arms up completely and try to touch your palm I'm still getting there but let's work on it together so move your right leg back extend your left arm forward inhale and exhale try to touch your palm if you're able to touch comfortably lift it higher let's do 10 counts on both sides 10 9 8 7 6 keep going higher 5 4 3 2 last one and 1 excellent release your right leg switch to the other side left leg back extend your right arm forward again try to challenge yourself inhale and exhale 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 last one and one excellent release your arms Just focusing on your breathing. Great. Now we'll move to our next warm up. We'll be doing Tada Kaputasana, a standing variation of pigeon pose. So, starting with your feet hip width apart. Those of you with knee pain, just be cautious. You can also choose to do it against a wall, just for support. Bending the right leg. Try to place your right foot just above the left knee. Focus on a point in front of you. Move your hips back. Try to move your right knee down and bring your palms to the chest if you're comfortable. This is not comfortable. Option to place your palms or fingertips down for support. So keep breathing, trying to move your hips back. Let's do it together. You might have to focus on a point to balance here. Five. Breathe. Legs active, hips moving back. Four, three, two, one. Good. Come back up, release, and switch to the other side. Moving your right foot out, shift your weight to the right foot, bringing your left leg up. Trying to place your left foot just above the right knee. Left knee moving down, hips moving down, and bring your palms to the chest. Breathe here. Five. Try to lengthen the spine. Four. Three. Excellent. Breathe. Two. And one. Good. Come back and release. Great. Now just place your palms above the knee. Bend your knees slightly. Just focusing on your breathing. Now we'll move to our next dynamic warm-up. We're going to be doing Vayu Nishkasana. So I'll just show you the warm-up. You bend the knees slightly, hold the outer edges of your feet and try to sit down. 
those of you with knee pain don't sit down all the way you can stay here halfway so let's do 10 counts of this try to hold the outer edges of your feet if you can't hold it standing bend your knees slightly so let's go inhale exhale move the hips down 10 try to lengthen your back as well 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. One. Now, as you do this, sit down in Malasana. Move your toes out to the sides. Lengthen the back. Place your elbows. close to the knee moving your knees out lengthening the back and just breathe here relax here if your heels are up feel free to roll a mat under just for support let's do five counts 5 4 3 two and One. Release your palms down. We'll do a variation just to strengthen the legs. So your toes are pointing forward, lifting the hips up. Your abdomen, the chest is close to the thigh, and you're extending the arms forward. Keep your legs strong here. Just five counts. Five hips up, hips in line with the shoulders. Four. Keep breathing. Three. Extend the arms. Two. And one. Excellent. Move your hips back. Now we'll do a lateral movement extending the right arm to the right side and left arm up look up breathe 5 4 3 2 1 release the left arm to the left side right arm up open the chest look up 5 4 3 2 and 1 excellent exhale release and slowly come up to standing keep your knees slightly bent as you come up now let's move to the surya namaskara we're going to do a short three round set of ashtanga a surya namaskara so coming to the top of your mat keep your feet together engaging the body is preparing for the practice If you've been following along you might be comfortable with the Surya Namaskara already if not watch the first round and you can join in from the second round So keep the spine lengthened arms by the side in samasthiti inhale extend lengthen look up urdhva hasta exhale bend forward to uttana inhale lengthen look forward ardha uttana exhale step back to chaturanga or you can stay in plank keep your knees down and lower down if you can inhale slide forward urdhva mukha exhale hips up to adho mukha work on keeping the knees bent today lengthening the spine and pressing into the palms breathe here 5 4 3 2 and 1 good inhale look forward step forward and lengthen ardha uttana exhale bend forward to uttana inhale extend the arms urdhva hasta exhale and release let's do two more rounds inhale extend lengthen and look up urdhva hasta exhale and bend forward to uttana inhale look forward ardha uttana exhale step or jump back to chaturanga inhale slide forward urdhva mukha exhale hips up to adho mukha breathing here 5 4 3 2 and 1 inhale look forward step or jump forward lengthen 
ardha uttana exhale bend forward to uttanasana inhale extend the arms up look up urdhva hasta exhale and release again inhale extend look up urdhva hasta exhale bend forward to uttana inhale look forward ardha uttana exhale step or jump back to chaturanga inhale slide forward urdhva mukha exhale hips up to adho mukha breathing here last five counts 5 4 3 2 1 and one inhale look forward step or jump forward lengthen ardha uttana exhale bend forward to uttanasana inhale extend the arms look up urdhva hasta exhale and release relax you can also relax in malasana since you are already warmed up keep your feet apart toes out to the sides move your hips down palms to the chest just work on catching your breath here taking a few nice deep breaths Let's do five more counts of Ardha Malasana, just to see if you've become stronger after Surya Namaskaras. So keep your hips up. Try to bring your, choose to keep your toes in so that you can rest your abdomen on the thighs and extend your arms forward. Legs are active, strong. Stay there and breathe. Five, four. Keep extending. Three, two, one. Good. Exhale. Sit back. Toes out to the sides. palms to the chest just breathe here stay here for five breaths lengthen the spine five four three two and one slowly release your palm now we are going to do the same ardha malasana variation toes pointing forward move your hips up try to rest your abdomen on the thigh and extend the arms forward breathe here for five counts five legs strong four three two and one excellent move your hips back sit back down palms to the chest again lengthen the spine staying in malasana breathing Five counts here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Release your palms. Toes pointing forward and come up to standing. I hope you are all warmed up. Now let's move to the sequences. the first sequence we'll be doing three asanas and repeating the asanas for three rounds with a few variations in between and then we'll move to the second sequence so i'm going to show you the first sequence the different asanas that we'll be doing we'll start off with trikonasana heel and heel in line right toes turn to the right side moving your right palm to the right ankle left palm on the hip and stay here for five counts then we move to a twist parivrutta trikonasana placing the left palm down extending the right arm up stay here for five counts releasing the palms down turn both your toes to the right staying on the fingertips inhale lengthening and exhale bending forward so continue this movement for five counts then coming up so we'll do it on both sides starting with the right five counts each then moving to the left second and third round we'll add in a few variations so let's begin coming up keep your feet together and move your feet to a wider stance check that the legs are straight and engaged turn your right toes to the right side left toes slightly in hips facing forward place your left palm on the hip for the first round move your right palm towards the right ankle keeping the chest open and breathe here staying here for 5 counts 5 focusing more on opening the chest 
थ्री टू एंड वन ग्रेट रिलीज योर लेफ्ट फार्म डाउन एंड एक्सटेंड योर राइट आर्म अप ट्राइंग टू ट्विस्ट एंड लुक अप स्टेइंग योर फॉर फाइव काउंट फाइव फोर थ्री टू वर्क ऑन एंगेजिंग द लेग्स एंड वन Exhale, release both your fingertips down. Turn your toes to the right side. Staying on the fingertips, inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale and bend. Trying to bring your forehead close to the shin. Inhaling, lengthen. Exhale forward. Four. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale two. Last one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and bend forward. Great. Now slowly bend your right knee. Come up to standing. Let's do the same sequence on the left side. Turn your left toes out, right toes in, hips facing forward. Move your left palm towards the ankle. Right palm on the hip. Open the chest, looking up. Stay here for five counts. Focusing on opening the chest and engaging your legs here in the first round. Five, four, three. Two and one. Good. Release the right palm down. Extend your left arm up. Twist and try to look up. Stay here for five counts. Five, four, three, two, one. Release your palms. Turn both your toes to the left side. Stay on the fingertips. Inhale. Lengthen your spine. Exhale. Bend forward. Five. Exhale. Forward. Four. Three. Exhale two. Last one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale forward. One. Good. Bend your left knee and slowly come up to standing. Great. Now we'll do the next two rounds. We'll be adding in a few variations. So turning the right toes to the right side, left toes slightly in, hips facing forward. Move your right palm towards the right ankle. Left palm on the hip. Open the chest. This time try to extend your left arm up, and keep breathing here. Five counts here. Five, four, three, two. One. Now for the twist, try to place your left palm outside the right foot and extend your right arm up. Parivritta Trikonasana. Breathing here. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Release. Turn your toes to the right. Stay on the fingertips. Pashvottanasana. Inhale. Lengthen your spine. Exhale. Bend forward. Five. Exhale forward. Four. Exhale three. Two. Last one. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale forward. One. Now we'll do one more round of holding. So lengthen the spine. Try to extend the arms. Engage the legs. Engage the core and breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Release your palms. Bend the right knee. Come up to standing. Now let's do the other side. Turning the left toes, right toes in, hips facing forward. Move your left palm towards the left ankle, trying to extend your right arm up. Stay here and breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Place your right palm. Outside the left foot, extend your left arm up. Twist into Parivrtta Trikona. Five, trying to balance. Four, three, two, one. Release your palms. Turn your toes to the left. Stay on the fingertips. Pashvottana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend forward. Five. Exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, three. Exhale two. Last one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend forward. One. Now inhaling. Keep your legs engaged. Engage the core and see if you can extend your arms forward. Breathe here. Five. Four. You can't release both. Try to release one arm forward. Three. Two. And one. 
excellent release your fingertips bend your left knee and come up to standing now we'll move to our last round same but with a few variations turning your right toes out to the right side left toes in hips facing forward move your right palm towards the ankle open the chest extend your left arm up this time we work on rotations with the left arm try to follow the palm so inhale exhaling move it down and back up 5 exhale down and back up 4 exhale and up 3 exhale and up 2 last one exhale and up one now place your left palm outside the right foot see if you can bring your right arm from around you and hold the thigh so you're trying to hold your left thigh opening the chest here breathe 5 4 getting into a deeper twist 3 2 one excellent release your palms turn both your toes to the right this time you're trying to lift your back foot off same movement but lifting the back foot off keeping the back leg active stay on the fingertips inhale lengthen exhale forward five feel free to keep the right knee slightly bent inhale exhale forward four exhale work with the breath three exhale two last one inhale lengthen exhale forward excellent slowly release your back foot down come up to standing let's do the other side turn the left toes right toes in hips facing forward move your left palm towards the ankle right arm extended up rotations inhale exhale moving your arm down and up 5 4 3 2 and 1 good now for the twist place your right palm outside the left foot try to bring your left arm from around and holding the right inner thigh open the chest and breathe 5 4 3 2 1 release your palms stay on the fingertips shift your weight to the left foot back foot active inhale lengthen exhale forward 5 4 3 2 last one inhale and exhale one release the back foot down bend the left knee and come up to standing wonderful now we are done with the first sequence let's move to the second sequence keeping your feet in a wider stance check that the outer edges of your feet are parallel so toes slightly in try to keep your legs straight in now inhale exhale bend forward and see if you can extend your arms forward so i'm going to show it to you from the side you're focusing on lengthening the spine by engaging the core so inhale exhaling extend the arms staying here breathe 5 see if you can shift your weight to the toes 4 3 2 and 1 great palms on the hips come back up stay in the same stance extend your arms to the sides now we are moving from side to side if this becomes very comfortable see if you can move your feet wider so inhale here exhale try to touch outside of your foot okay extend and exhale let's begin 10 9 keep twisting 8 7 six if you're getting comfortable spread your legs wider 5 4 3 two last one and one excellent come back up now we do the same thing but moving to the sides with the right palm on the hip and the left arm extended let's go 10 counts palms on the hip right palm on the hip inhale exhale to the side 
थ्री टू एंड लास्ट वन वन वेरी गुड नाउ मूव योर फीट क्लोजर एंड सिट बैक in malasana so today's resting position is malasana toes out to the sides move your hips down palms to the chest and move your knees out lengthen the spine if you want to intensify a little more try to make a fist and keep your fists together so moving your knees out keeping your fists together as you lengthen the spine this will give you a little more opening in the hips breathe here five counts just relax you can keep your eyes closed completely focused on your breathing trying to slow down your breath continue to stay here and focus on every inhale and exhale the reason we ask you to focus on the breath is so that you can connect with the subtle energy in the body and one of the best ways to work with the vital energy or prana is by just focusing on every inhale and exhale trying to slow down the exhale trying to elongate the exhale so that it activates the rest and digest response of the parasympathetic nervous system continuing to stay here in malasana And now let's try a balancing posture. Release your palms down and start to walk your feet closer. Option to place your palms behind you just to balance initially. You can watch the posture first. We are doing Ekapada Malasana, so with a single leg. So keep your left foot firm. See if you can shift your weight to the left foot. Extend your right leg out to the front. Now this if you want to challenge yourself, see if you can hold your right foot. with the palm keep extending and place your left palm on the hip balance focus and stay so let's try it together move your feet closer option to place your palms behind like i said trying to shift your weight forward those of you who who are up here with your heels up try to roll a mat and support yourself or you can keep a block underneath as well if you have one extend the right foot forward place your left palm on the hip try to balance here if you can place both palms on the hips if that's comfortable hold your right leg keep extending and breathe here focus on one point drishti is very important for balancing postures 5 4 3 2 1 excellent place your left palm down and release your left foot right foot down now let's switch to the other side again placing your fingertips back shift your weight to the right foot see if you can extend your left leg forward and hold your left big toe and slowly place your right palm on the hip focus on one point it's okay if you haven't got this posture just yet keep practicing breathe 5 4 3 Two and one. Good. Release. And now, just relax. Lie down on your abdomen for a few breaths. Relax your palm. Just noticing your breathing. Let's move to a back bend. We'll be doing Dhanurasana before our final sequence, which helps to really strengthen and work on the core. Let's work on a back bend just to release any tension from the back. So bend both the legs. For today, we'll do a variation of Dhanurasana where you're only holding the inner foot. Okay, so you're trying to hold the inner edges of your foot with the palm. Let's do it together. Five counts. If you're comfortable, see if you can slowly rock forward and back. So placing your palms on the inner foot inhale and come up. And now see if you can rock forward and back for 5 counts. 5 Keep moving your knee up, opening the shoulder. 4 3 2 1 Good. 
two and one excellent release palms down by the side of the chest move your hips to the heels and relax with the arms extended out in shashankasana Good. Inhaling, come back up, turn around, and lie down on your back. Now we are going to be doing two variations of one of my favorite asanas to build strength: Navasana or Boat Pose. So I'll show you different variations of this before we start. First is to place your fingertips down, just so that you're supporting yourself. extending the legs forward and then we move to a low boat where your lower back is rested and the legs are a few inches off so we'll alternate between the two anyone with any tailbone pain feel free to bend the mat either roll up the mat or place a small cushion underneath just to support you the others if you're comfortable instead of supporting extend your arms out and stretch your legs and then move down if you're very comfortable then you can also try to extend your arms up so let's do either variation whichever you're comfortable we'll try and do three rounds okay move your hips back and try to support yourself extend your legs see if you can release stay here for five counts 5 4 keep your legs completely engaged 3 2 one lower back down legs down a few inches off keep your chest and head up five counts five you might feel a little shaky that just means that your muscles are working four three two one let's go for the second round again extending arms to the sides stay there five four three two One lower back down, heels a few inches off. Five counts. Five, four, three, two, one. Just relax for three breaths before we move to the last round. Catch your breath. Notice the pace of your breathing. try to connect with your breath it will help you hold the posture for longer all right let's go with the last round inhaling extend the legs up keep your legs completely active and strong see if you can release your arms those of you who are supporting and breathe five see if you can point your toes look up at the toes four three you've got this two and one lower down heels a few inches off keep the core engaged five last five four three two and one excellent release lie down on your back just relax bringing your awareness back to the breath let's move to our cool down sequence we are going to be doing three asanas starting with supta pada angushtasana a b and a variation of c so this will really help to lengthen your legs as well as give you a nice twist so keep your feet together place your left palm on the hip or extend the left arm to the left side bend your right leg hold your right big toe and see if you can extend your right leg up if this is not accessible feel free to use a strap or interlock the fingers and place your palm just behind the thigh so let's stay here for 5 counts 
Four, keep moving your leg closer towards you. Three, two, and one. Exhale, move your right leg to the right side. Focus on keeping your left hip down. Only if you're able to slowly move your right foot down with the left hip down. So place your left palm on the left hip so that this is not lifting up. And breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Now for a twist, release the right leg, bend. Place your left palm on the right knee and move your right knee to the left side. Extend your right arm. Try to gaze at the right palm. Keep twisting and breathe here. Five, four, three, two and one. Good. Inhale, come back. Exhale, release the right leg. Let's do the same on the other side. Place your right palm on the hip, bend your left leg. Again, choose either variation. If you can't extend it completely, place your palm behind the thigh. Stay here for five counts. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now move your left leg to the left side. Continue to keep your right hip down. Place your right palm on the right hip and breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. Bend your left leg. Place your right palm on the outer edge of the left foot and move your left leg towards the right side. Extend the left arm and gaze at the left palm. Breathing here for five counts. Five, four, three, two and one inhaling come back exhale release the legs and today we'll focus on just the breath so working with our energy working with the prana just focus on every inhale and exhale in the next few sessions, we'll also work on some pranayama practices which will help you work with the breath a lot more and relax the body. So for today, just be focused on the breathing. You could also practice kaki pranayama where you exhale out through the mouth. So when you exhale through the mouth, try to exhale longer and relax deep. to stay completely still in Shavasana and focus on the breath. Feel free to stay for longer, else start to bring your awareness back to the body. Slowly wriggle your toes.
start to move your fingers move your head from side to side feet together interlock the fingers and inhale extend your arms up stretch your legs giving yourself a nice good long stretch exhale and release bend both legs at the knee turning to the right side support yourself using your left palm and very slowly come up and sit up keeping the spine lengthened always remembering that you can come back to the breath any time you need to relax you always have your breath just bring your awareness back to the breath and with each exhale work on relaxing the body relaxing the mind let's end with three om chants followed by the shanti mantra bring your palms to the chest inhaling deeply oh inhale Last one inhale Om Shanti 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 Gently rub your palms generate heat Bring your palms to the eyes relax the eyes very slowly open your eyes looking at the palms thank you for practicing with me and that brings us to the end of the fourth session i hope you're feeling great and you've learned to use your breath to really relax the body even in situations where your whole body is tense or you're completely drained out you can still use your breath to energize and get back to your regular state of activity Now here's a quick reminder. I hope all of you are keeping up to the promise and trying to get in at least 6000 steps every single day. And the last task for today is I want all of you to take a picture or a short video of you performing the asana of the day. Now the asana of the day is going to be malasana. We've done it a lot in today's session and you can do either of the variations that we've done. Do post it on our social media channels. on the facebook group which is stronger together with cult life and also tag us on instagram so that we can see your progress thank you for coming along thank you for completing the fourth session we have a long way to go keep practicing keep getting stronger this is carolyn signing off namaste for more such workout videos download the cult fit app now Also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Via Cult